atmosphere. Yeah. And then, of course, other things too. By now, the sky is darkish, and therefore you'll certainly see Venus and probably the other planets, and some stars also. Yes, we hope. Uh, again, this is a picture I took in, uh, in Mexico where you can see Venus and, and Mercury next to the eclipsed sun. Um, supposing you could see all the stars at that point, which we won't, uh, you'd see that the, the eclipsed sun is actually against the background of the winter stars. We can see Orion there. Um, probably we we'll just see Venus and Mercury and a couple of the brighter stars, yeah, I would say. And of course, one never quite knows. Way back in 1882, an eclipse occurred and near the sun was a bright comet, never seen before, never seen again. And I just wonder, we could have a comet, but very unlikely, I think, unless we just could. We just never know, do you, what you might see. And then, when it ends, it ends with surprising suddenness. And the first thing is the appearance of the diamond ring. Yes, and it's quite stunning because your eyes are dark adapted by this time, of course. And um, it's a brilliant effect. It'll suddenly shoot out there. And this is the, the signal, again, for safety. You have to start looking away pretty soon at this point because you're going to get blinded by this light which is reappearing. It's a good time to look away and look around. Also a good time to look down mm -hmm. at your feet because you may see these elusive shadow bands which are much talked about. Um, I saw them for the first time in, in Curacao. I didn't really believe in them up to that point, yeah. I don't think. But um, it's a little bit like standing at the bottom of a swimming pool because you get these strange fringes which are moving around. We are, of course, standing at the bottom of a sea of air, which is turbulent. And at this moment in time, the sun is virtually a point source. So this is why you get this very special effect. A, a nice little thing to look out for. But then, of course, it's all over. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> and, of course, one thing we must admit straight away, we are entirely at the mercy of the weather. Yes. Uh, if the sky is a partial cloud, you may be lucky, and don't give up too early. Mm. But if it's totally overcast, then I fear there's nothing you can do, really. You'll net the drop in temperature, net the drop in brightness, and I'm afraid that will be all. You'll have to rely upon pictures taken elsewhere. So yes. let's only hope that doesn't happen. Where will you be, Brian? I'll be in Cornwall at my friend Roger's house, and um, we'll celebrate where we th whether we see it or not, I think. I shall be in Cornwall, just outside Falmouth, doing a commentary for the BBC. So let's only hope for clear skies. If we fail, okay. well, there are other totalities. There's one in 2001, for example, in Africa, and yes. they do occur every 18 months or so. But so far as we are concerned, well, as we said, the last was in 1927. Mm. The next will be in 2090. And therefore, so far as I'm concerned, I think also as far as you're concerned, this is our one and only <laughs> chance of a total solar eclipse visible from England. So for the next 90 years. Exactly. Yes. Let's hope for clear skies. Brian, Absolutely. thank you very much. Thank you so much, Patrick. Well, it's New Letter time. If you want your new letter, send your sampler envelope to New Letter Number 74, The Sky at Night, BBC TV, London W12 7TS. We have, of course, got our website, www.bbc.co.uk slash sky at night slash. We have our usual information line, 0891-800-330 or CFAX page 620. Now we're all getting tensed up for the eclipse and when I come back next month I'll be joined by Dr. Peter Cantermole and Ian Nicholson and we give our, our very last um, uh, pre-eclipse rehearsal techniques and therefore let's hope that we are going to have clear skies and uh, for our last pre-eclipse program we'll see you next month. And after that the great day will be upon us. Our one and only English total solar eclipse. Good night. Find out more about the planets around us with Guy.